Hey, what's up guys? The Joe Dude here, back again with another Shadowverse video. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the balance changes that are going to be happening in the upcoming patch, or the patch might already be happening by the time you see this video. Um, they just announced this news, so I'm going to try to get this out as soon as possible. So the upcoming balance balance patch which is happening on August 29th um, is going to be changing four cards in the set and I had a qu quick glance at these at these changes and I'm pretty excited about it so the first card they're going to be changing is Felice Leonardo Mage so this was the golden um, runecraft, runecraft follower that was like a 3-6 that evolves into a 4-6 but when it evolves it has storm um, so they're basically removing the enhance effect it was a five cost card but you can enhance it for 7 to evolve it for free, which was pretty, which was too powerful in my opinion because you could, with its fanfare, dealing damage to an enemy follower based on how many neutral cards you had in your hand, and being able to go face, it, it was just so much tempo, so much pressure, so much face damage. So by removing the enhance effect, you force, your, you force yourself to um, save an evil point if you want to evolve it to have the storm effect which I think is a lot better and a lot more balanced um, that or they would have had to make the enhance like an enhance 9 or something just to slow it down but overall I think it's a really good touch it still has the storm factor so it's still an aggressive card by nature uh, it's just that you need to save an evil point now which is a lot better in my opinion um, the next change is something that I'm sure all of you guys were excited about and that's Demon Lord Ector so they're changing its necromancy cost from uh, 3 to 3 for per zombie to now just a static 8 cost. And now you always get 2 zombies and it still has the plus 2 attack and rush effect. Um, so I do really like this change. Before you could just play Hector and clear your opponent's board with one card. Especially with shadows you're able to build up a lot of shadows for your necro cost. So by changing it to a stack 8, um, you can't always play Hector on 7 anymore to be a huge turn 7 play. Um, it's more of a later cost card most of the time. and um, It's not as oppressive as it was before. Now you can't get like 4 zombies. Like 2 zombies I believe was like, I would say it's like the average amount of zombies you'd be getting off of Hector. But now that it's costing 8 instead of what it would have cost 6. So it makes it a bit harder to use. Um, they still have the plus two attack and the rush, which is still very powerful. It represents a lot of burnt, uh, a lot of burst damage that you could have. So it's Hector is still probably playable. Big Knuckle Bodyguard. So they change it from a uh, four cost to a five cost. Now I really like this change because BKB, uh, his stat lines were too strong. So if they're, if they're going there for any other way, they would have had to change its stats. Um, but change it to five cost, I think is fair because it evolves into a 5-6, it kills your uh, opponent's follower for free, essentially free. Um, so changing it to 5, slowing it down a bit, I think is a lot better because now you can't just temple BKB on turn 4 and completely wreck your opponent. So really good touch there. Uh, they also are nerfing Scarlet Saber. They're, it's a really small change, they're making it so that the 2 damage can't go face anymore, go any target followers, which I think is really good. Um, now you can now you have like essentially three less direct burn cards in your deck if you're playing an aggro blood. Um, I mean I don't think this change will change too much. Now you won't have that sneaky lethal anymore, but uh, most of the time I would say like eighty percent of the time you're using that two damage to kill your opponent's follower anyways. So Sebra is still a good card. BKB I still think is a pretty decent card still. Um, they really hit blood. I'm surprised they didn't make these changes to BK BKB and Saber earlier in like the July patch. But I guess they didn't want to hit blood that hard. Or maybe they were still experimenting how they were going to change these cards. So overall, I would say good job side games and Shadowverse for these balance changes. I, I do think these were like probably at least in the top 10, top 5, top 10 of the most strongest cards in the game right now. Um, Ector especially, everyone's been asking for that nerf for a long time. Uh, so no more Ector memes. Um, so yeah, I think all the changes are really good. They toned down all the cards, so they're still, I would say, strong cards, but they're not, they're not overly powerful anymore. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it in this article. They talk about why they're making these changes, but yeah, that's pretty much the gist of it. 
So I'm excited of these changes and looking forward to the new the new meta after this update. I'm not too sure what's going to be good after. Maybe the meta will slow down, maybe forest could be good again. Um, I'm always hoping forest is going to be good after these balance changes, but yeah, we're going to have to see how it turns out. So I'm excited for it. Probably play a bunch of ladder after these changes and get some videos out for those. And coming just in time for the new season in September, so that's pretty cool as well. I like how they make these changes at the end of the season. So yeah, that's it for this video. If you guys have any comments about these balance updates, if you're once you want to cheer cheer side games on for finally nerfing Ector, or if you're thinking they're or if you thought that they missed out on the card that they should nerf, comment down below in the description. Or comment down below and let me know. Um, as well, if you like the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And check me out on my other social media links in the description down below. Thanks for watching, guys. See you guys next time. Peace. I saw the sun rise.